This is Yomi, so okay, this is Yomi yeah. has a good Red lead. Blue course ready, racers ready. <laughs> Joey is in the blue course. Well, Tara's going to have to really push it right now. She knows what she has to do. She has to be missing by 1.5, which seems insurmountable. But she's going to try her best on here to the soft snow. Yeah, you know, do you think she's a little intimidated by this? Because this is so around the world. Everybody writes about her and talks about her, including us. She might be intimidated by Missy, but I think she's more intimidated by the top snow conditions. She's had trouble today, so is Missy, but right now it's going to see who can make no mistakes. Well, if Missy makes no mistakes, she'll advance to the final. And she has a 1.5 second lead. And she comes down through. Yoni's won that, was the national. This is Yobi, advances to the finals. Okay, it's going to be a big one. I don't know, but uh, this competitor always is in there. It's amazing. Here is the photo finish. Yonis just barely nips her. However, that 1.5 lead. There's some lip balls. Yogi has to take her on. Ready to award our first gold medal of the day. It will be coming in the women's duel downhill on Miracle Mile. Missy Giovi and Mickey Douglas are duking it out all day. Bobby Addy has the call. The finals for the gold medal. Missy Giovi. Red course ready. Red course. Blue course ready. Racers ready. Mickey Douglas. Blue course and she really fires out of there. It's amazing how aggressive they are. They both of them have to be so fatigued at this point. Combine that with a flat line, you're probably going to see a couple mistakes in this run. And coming out of that sun, you know, it's pretty dark down here. And this is Joey, he looks a little sluggish. She's in the red course. Those women are pedaling hard to try to catch up. Let's see if she can. I'll tell you, Vicky Douglas is pulling it on. She's pulling away. Watch her being in this section. This is Giovi, who is known for her speed, trying to pull it on down here at the bottom. But Mickey Douglas, no! This is Giovi, She kept pedaling hard over the steep, was able to catch Mickey. Unbelievable. It looked like she was going to be a full second behind. Missy was just pedaling hard. Meanwhile, Mickey's coasting. Missy pedals past her, is able to take the lead, winning by a fraction of a second. Well, you had a little trouble there, but you came on strong. Yeah, um, huh? Yeah, it's, uh, it's hard. It's a lot of easier to make a lot of mistakes. The red side is worse. On the triples, um, hit the triples got really wide. Come on, has it in there, blue side. It's my favorite, so I'm psyched. How about your legs, I mean, you guys are getting tired after all these runs. That's why I train. <laughs> is it getting a little icy out here now that the sun's going down? Um, it's getting nice. It's getting better. There's still a lot of, uh, you know, um, really deep sand kind of. Snow you have to ride, and, but uh, it's starting to firm up. It's starting to take a hold. It's getting real nice. One run down, one to go. That's all right. She's some competitor, and there's that parameter. Maybe it's bringing her good luck today. The final run for the women in the Snow Mountain Viking Dual Downhill. Mickey Douglas on the red course, and Missy Joey on the blue. Mickey has a... Missy has a point two three one. Missy rode a bike that was not a downhill bike. It was a lot better. And I was, I had to ride my downhill bike in this one. Three thousand dollars for the winner of the gold. Twenty two hundred dollars for the silver. Missy's already had a problem. She got caught up in that soft snow out of the triple in that turn. Let's see if she can pick it back up and try to catch Missy. Uh, you don't catch Missy very much. She's just flying down here. She's had the experience to know exactly where she is. Cool, come and collect it as she flies down here. To the finish line. And Missy Giovi wins the gold medal. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Mickey Douglas, the silver. started, Douglas took an early lead, but Giobi pedaled hard and took advantage of Douglas's mistakes. Let's go down to Gary right now, who is with our winner. Well, once again, a slow start, but a fast finish. How are you able to do this? Um, I train. This is what I do. It's my profession, and, uh, you know, it's in the mind, and I'm an athlete, you know, and I work real hard to do this. And, ah, control. So, uh, hopefully, we'll have a day like this and together. <laughs> How are you going to celebrate? Um... Hey girls, back in Durango, actually, unfortunately, this is for my uh, friend Carly, who just recently died, and um, this is to my girls back home. And that piranha brought you some luck, eh? Sure did. Okay, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, and I'd like to add my congratulations, too. You have to admire Missy Giobi's great competitive attitude. And I guess that piranha did bring her some good luck. What a great day we've had with the women. Tonight on ESPN, when our coverage continues at 8 p.m. Eastern, it's the Women's Speed Final, where another veteran racer, Carolyn Curley, will go for gold. Some people have shamrocks. Missy Giobi, a petrified piranha. She's about to assume the medal podium and take her gold medal today. I'm impressed also with Mickey Douglas, 34 years old, perhaps her final day of competition. She says she plans to retire and become a full-time housewife. A great career that began in 1981, <laughs> but the day belonged to Missy Giobi, the wild thing from Durango, Colorado, last year in 1996, the World Cup downhill champion, now a champion again today, the gold medalist in the women's downhill.